If you're not entirely ignorant of the facts, you should be aware that blockchain technologies are a bad idea. I do mean that in the most general sense possible, including everything blockchain that currently exists or is proposed to exist. If you want more detail, Folding Ideas has this long and super detailed essay, so I'll summarize. Blockchain promises to solve problems, some of which exist, some of which arguably don't, but it in fact doesn't solve most of these problems and introduces more problems of its own. At the center of blockchain is the promise of decentralization. Currently, we entrust our data, our money, our everything to a few powerful organizations that cannot be trusted or who some people do not want to trust. Instead, blockchain tries to offload that trust to the many, to everyone. In theory, blockchain creates a network of stakeholders, none of which need to be trusted, but who through their numbers should ensure that the network as a whole, the blockchain, can be trusted. In practice, however, it turns out that the methods of achieving this state are harmful to basically anything and that power and trust still concentrate. I'm not entirely sure what the Ethereum people were smoking when they thought that proof of stake could uphold these basic premises. It is literally a process designed to concentrate power to the stakers. And even in absence of such a scheme, reality shows that there will or can be a few who control the network. We are not removing our trust in a few institutions. We are just moving our trust to different institutions, which have shown to be not trustworthy. And here is where the Fediverse comes in. Fediverse is a portmanteau of Federated Universe, and it includes a variety of platforms and technologies. Most prominent at the moment are Mastodon, the Twitter microblogging replacement, and Matrix, an end-to-end -end encrypted chat system. At the center of the Fediverse is the promise of decentralization. Wait, that's also what blockchain does? Here's where we have to pay attention. The Fediverse does not ask you to give up your trust in an institution. In the Fediverse, there are still Mastodon instances, matrix home servers, whatever the particular term is. These are servers or services run by one institution, sometimes a single person or a small informal group, sometimes a non-profit, sometimes a corporation, sometimes a government. This is initially nothing different from, say, Reddit, which is a service run by one company. You still have to trust your instance, your home server, that they will respect your data, privacy, keep their server secure, moderate content to guidelines you find acceptable and counteract illegal activities. However, unlike normal centralized internet platforms, the Fediverse doesn't require trust in a single institution, it just requires trust in one of many institutions. Federation means that there is a network of autonomous institutions that are trusted by their users and that choose to interact with each other as a decentralized system of equals. This avoids the problems with no trust systems like blockchains while also avoiding the problems of centralization and concentration of power. And crucially, it actually works in practice. Let's take Mastodon as an example because it's a public social media platform. There is a large network of public Mastodon instances that have many thousands of users. These instances are well moderated, but the moderation load is not high if you consider that many are invitation only and well-meaning admins only have to moderate content and users of their own instance, not things that come in from other instances. However, when another instance is exhibiting general bad behavior, for example, reports of bad users being ignored or the admins themselves being assholes, any instance can choose to block or defederate such bad actor instances. There are large public lists containing known bad instances, but any particular instance chooses for itself which instances it wants to block and which not.
If you as a user are dissatisfied with your instance's moderation, you can leave that instance and join another that better suits your needs. The standard Mastodon server software and many compatible implementations allow you to just move accounts or at least download data. So it's not a huge process. Socially speaking, this keeps good faith instance administrators listening to their users if they want to keep them on their instance and want to avoid being defederated by everyone. If we look away from public instances, this system also allows instances to only connect with a few specific peers, or in fact, none at all, if that is desired. That is in and of itself a neutral feature. It could be used for company internal communication or for creating a right-wind extremist bubble. At least the latter I'm not making up. In the wild, you will come across discussions between server admins sharing news of blocked instances or having a debate over such topics. And that's all part of a healthy Fediverse. There is no requirement to reach a consensus beyond a single instance. In a sense, there has to only be a basic level of trust between instances, the trust in good faith. Some particular instances might block each other for like specific reasons, but the Fediverse as a whole will be unaffected. So overall, the whole point of the Fediverse is decentralization. More specifically, having independent systems run by independent organizations talk to each other via standard protocols. The protocol for the Fediverse is called ActivityPub, a standard created by the people that standardize the web itself. Federated decentralization means that the end user still enjoys the benefits of large platforms, instant communication with very many people, etc. But they also have the choice of whom they entrust with their data and the moderation of their interactions. There is also the aspect of open source software. And I know many people that watch my videos or follow me on the Fediverse care a lot about it. But let me actually tell you a secret. The average person doesn't care. The only important aspect is that the standard is open. Whether you trust someone with a closed source implementation is up to you. So I wrote this script like a month ago originally. And in the meantime, some things have happened. And um, first, we got an excellent example of what happens if a company or a large organization misbehaves in the Fediverse, namely, the Raspberry Pi Foundation did a PR fuck up and was promptly defederated by everyone. And second, the Web Zero Manifesto was created, which is pretty much exactly what I'm talking about here. I'm putting this in at the end just to give the video as my own personal view on decentralization. But the Web Zero Manifesto shows me that this is not an isolated opinion I'm presenting. It's a larger shift in the World Wide Web that currently has the chance to happen. And I do hope it does happen, however large or small it will be. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you're not following me on the Fediverse yet, my main account is at filmrollchen at chaos.social and my SerenityOS account is at filmrollchen at serenityos.social. If you are not in the Fediverse yet and you would like to join an instance, I have linked you to two popular instance pickers below. I know it's frustrating that many cool instances either have closed registrations or are invite only, but remember that most are run by volunteers. But that's it from me for today. Goodbye.